What's going on? Welcome to our very first foray into the Alpha Frog Vintage Cube. I'm going to take Mox Jet here because it's a Mox Jet. Interesting, we have a Deadly Dispute, Prismari Command, Heliod Suncrowned, a bunch of interesting inclusions. Looks like these, <coughs> the Restless Lands, are present. Uh, definitely want this guy. So, what do we take after Mox Jet? Did I say Mox Pearl? I might have said Mox Pearl. But it was a Mox Jet. <clears throat> I do like a Palace Jailer. I do like a Primeval Titan. Um, good questions. Good questions all. I mean, I think it's definitely between these two. I am a big fan of a white black deck, even though we don't have to be black just because we have a Mox Jet, but I do like the white black archetype. Yeah, I'll take Palace Jailer. I think Palace Jailer is Thank you. incredibly strong. 61 months. Super Fritz, thank you for the resub, buddy. Appreciate you. It looked like there was one other sub too today. Who was it? Oh, King Eater, thank you for the resub. Really appreciate you, my dude. Maybe it's maybe it's Esper Sentinel. Interesting. Could just be Skull Clamp. I think Skull Clamp's probably stronger. Especially this earlier where we can pick up things to build around it. I do like a Leovold. I like a Snapcaster. Wooded Foothills would be nice if it was intersecting with either one of these. I'm just going to take Scully Boy. Interesting. Sylvan Library. Lotus Field. Volcanic Island. Beseech the Mirror. Which is very interesting. Thank you. Oh, Stuart Alm with a six month streak. Take Sylvan for Lil Stewie. <laughs> oh boy. I don't know if that's good. I mean, it is good. I don't know if it's good. It's good with what we have though. I kind of want to try this Beseech the Mirror. I also like Resto. Hmm. Definitely don't think it's an easy recruiter. I actually, I'm not a big recruiter fan. I, I know it's fine. I know it's a fine card, right? Oh, I like that Malcolm Alluring Scoundrel is in here. I also put Malcolm in my cube as well. Um, and this is just a 2-1 with Flying and Flash. Whenever Malcolm Alluring Scoundrel deals combat damage to a player, you put a Chorus Counter on it. Draw a card, then discard. So you get to loot. Hunter went through my trash again, which is wonderful. Uh, and then if there are four more counters on it, you get to cast the discarded card, which is pretty sweet. It's definitely Skyclave Apparition. Can I not drag anymore? Oh, there we go. That's weird. Anyway, Skyclave Apparition it is. Man, I like Blood. I like Path to Exile and March, but I also like Bloodstained Mire. That's interesting. Huh. Fascinating. It is hard to drag ghosts. <laughs> you ain't kidding. That's the name of my first uh my first emo album, actually. It's hard to drag ghosts. I'm definitely not taking a custody lich over a one mana path or a blood stained mire. I think we're just taking the mire here. Oh, silent clearing. And talisman of conviction in case we want to be Mardu. I don't think it's collective brutality. I think I'd just rather have the silent clearing and assume that we like I'm definitely looking for like bitter blossom type cards, Ophiomancer, things like that. Thanks. Yeah, I'll just take the silent clearing. This pack's kind of meh. We did see a Dark Depths going around. I'm going to take the Thespian stage. I, I don't care about Condemner Oust that much. But this is a nice little hedge. What is this? Draw two cards and make a treasure for two mana. Okay. Baron Von Vaderham. Thank you for the resub, buddy. I appreciate it. Might just be Selfless Spirit. I think it's just Selfless Spirit. Actually, I'm taking the Heliod because we did see a ballista going around if the ballista comes back that's kind of neat okay none of these cards are for us i'll just take armageddon if you have dark depths out in your armageddon you get the merit Lage, right because it has no counters 
after you destroy it. Is that how that works? Uh, no, it is not how that works. Uh, definitely how that works. Try it out. Yeah, that'll work well. Hey, how come I didn't get my guy? Um, interesting. I don't. I don't think Revel Arc is very good at all. Maybe it's fine in our deck though. Besiege came back. Look, Recruiter came back. You guys love a Recruiter. See, now I'll take a Recruiter. Oh, Hexmage came back. All right, that's kind of what we were... Oh, we didn't get the Dark Depths, though. Was the Dark Depths in there? Is that what I was thinking of, or was I thinking of Walking Ballista? I know there was a card that was supposed to come back. But either way, we have two. If we do see a Dark Depths that was not in this pack, we're Gucci. Goo -goo -goo Gucci. Gucci. Yeah, sure, I'll just take Fire Blast. Oh, light last pick Nissa. Interesting. Oh, I found the Dark Depths. Ha <laughs> ha, that's interesting. That is interesting. I do like Staff of the Storyteller. We didn't get Walking Ballista, unfortunately. I do like Wedding Announcement. Gonti is nice. I have Gonti in my own cube as well. Yeah, we're definitely taking Dark Depths when we have Hexpage and Thespian Stage. Like, that seems just like the pick. Yeah, I'm a fan of this cube because it's literally just the vintage cube, but it has a lot of like fun ofs like I have in mine. It, not as many, of course, but I have a lot of fun ofs in my cube. But nevertheless, like it still has a lot of good cards that like are not found in the regular vintage cube. This pack is pretty, pretty balls. Um, I would love this if we did get Esper Sentinel. Man, I can't, I'm, I'm really sad we didn't get that, uh, Walking Ballista. It's just Ranger Captain. He gets, he goes and gets a 1-1. One, one. We don't have, or a 1-1 one, one value creature. We don't actually have one yet. Nothing else in this pack is actually good for us. I don't care about Wall of Omens. I'll just take the Ranger, I guess. <sighs> Badlands for the Mar... Like, again, this pack is pretty bad. I do like Archon in case we have a way to, like, reanimate it. But then we also need ways to get it into the graveyard. Uh, let's put Vampire X Mage in the deck. I mean, is that crazy? Like, we also have, we have Recruiter, we have Ranger Captain, we have a bunch of ways to get small guys right now. I think it might just be Caracas, yeah. Like, I mean, I love Archon, but I feel like Caracas is definitely good enough when we're not Archoning. Cathar Commando. Blade Splicer. I do love an Atraxa. Oh, yeah, that's true. If they try to kill your Marit Lage, you can just bounce it with, with Caracas and save it. So can Resto can blink it, too, which is nice. So there's a bunch of ways we can save our, our Marit Lage. That's kind of cool. Might just be Duress here, actually. Yeah, I'll take Duress. Solitude? Yeah, we're definitely taking a Solitude. And we can get that dude with, with, with Recruiter. Would love a Bitter Triumph. I would take an Indotha Triumph as well on the, on the wheel. <clears throat> I like a Lauren. Pile on is neat. Pile on was in my cube as well. I don't know if it still is. Let me find out. I may have replaced it with Baleful Mastery again. Uh, yes, I have Baleful Mastery. The reason is I think being able to pay two for it is much better than being able to have to pay four. And again, like a lot of decks who want this don't have a ton of creatures. I think it's just Mother of Runes actually. I mean, just considering we have Ranger Captain. Yeah, let's just take the Mother. Oh, I do like a Get Lost.
Yeah, I think it's got lost for sure here. All right. Verdant Catacomb. Oh, Vindicate. Yeah, let's take Vindicate. I would take the Verdant Catacomb if we had uh, Scrubland or Godless Shrine or something. I think, I think I'd rather just have a Vindicate, though. Oh, Staff of the Storyteller came back. That's pretty sweet. Still hoping for something like Lingering Souls or Bitter Blossom. Wall of Omens. Wow, that's a late sneak attack. I'm just gonna take Wall of Omens. This is a this is not a this is a league draft, so we're not guaranteed to like. If I, if it was like a a pod, I would definitely just take sneak attack so that someone else couldn't have it. But there's no the, the odds of me playing against the person who picks up that sneak attack is very low. Oh, what up, El Derp Fiend? Thank you for the re for the bits, buddy. Really appreciate it. I almost said resub there because I'm conditioned to say resub. Guess we'll just take World Spine Worm. So that the Flash person can't have it. Oh wow, Lesh and Blade Splicer came back. I'll take a Blade Splicer. Too bad that Archon didn't come back, but I don't think we were ever expecting that to happen. I don't know if Heliod does anything right now. It should, I, yeah, I've been meaning to update the um, the alert gifts. I just have not done so. Oh, and Delta Triumph came, oh, Bitter Triumph came back too. Um, I'm going to take the Triumph here. Oh, and Barrow Ice is pretty good. Yeah, we're taking the Triumph because we would love a land we can get with this guy. Well, there is an underground sea. I'm pretty sure it's just Mana Crypt here. Uh, Ephemerite's interesting. I like Hero. Don't care about Shallow Grave. Channel is always nice. Yeah, we're just taking the Mana Crypt. Having Mana Crypt and Mox Jet's pretty sweet. Plus we can play Recruiter, Blade Splicer, Palace Chiller. Oh, he lands a three drop. That's interesting. Let's sort these by mana value. Okay, that's better. What just happened? Neon Tokyo, thank you for the resub, buddy. Appreciate you. Wouldn't want to appreciate you. That doesn't make any sense, but it sounded good in my head. I do like this Archangel Elspeth. I replaced Elspeth Nidorant with this one because they both make one ones. Uh, putting two counters on a creature and making it fly forever uh, is a nice upgrade. And then returning all non-land permanent cards of mana value three or less is pretty good. I actually think I'm going to take this. I do like Vampiric Tutor. Actually, Tutor's really good when we have... Uh, actually, I feel like it is Tutor. We have Dark Depths, Thespian Stage, Hex Mage. Yeah, I'm taking the Tutor here, and I'm, I'm crossing my fingers that that Elspeth comes back, because I can't imagine there's a ton of people interested in it. I do like a Council's Judgment. No Bitter Blossom, no Lingering Souls yet, huh? That's a bummer. We could also Bye. Unmarked Grave, because we have Unburial Rites. We could also un we can unmark grave the unburial rights. That's interesting. I think that's actually decent. I wish we had better creatures to bring back. Urk, thank you for the resub, buddy. I think with vindicate and get lost and palace jailer, I think we have a good. I think this is. I think this might be worth it. Especially if we get something cool. Oh, Deep Cavern. Oh, there's a Lingering Souls. Yeah, Lingering Souls has got to be the pick here, I think. I, I think Deep Cavern Bat is fantastic. Um, this should be your default two-mana uh, hand snatcher. Like your Kite Sail Freebooter. Yeah, we're definitely taking Lingering Souls. Especially with uh, Staff of the Storyteller. I do like Steel Seraph. I think Torok is pretty sweet here. I wish our mana base was a little better for it. But we do have to rest to make them discard. Yeah, I think it's just Torok here. I don't think it's Seal Seraph. We have a ton of three drops. Graveyard Trespasser is cool, but I think Torok does a little more. 
plus it's oh oh stone forge interesting there's one two three four five six seven eight two cards are coming back so we get to see two more packs it looks like i don't think that's going to i don't think we're gonna find well we do have skull clamp already interesting Man, this pack's actually pretty good. I like I like Goblet Shrine, I like Stoneforge, I like Sarah Paragon. I'm gonna take Stoneforge. I think I think if we just happen to hit I think if we just happen to hit a batter skull, like a sword or a called uh complete, I think it's good. Uh, I'll take the dam. Okay, I don't think we hit those things. Containment Priest is nice. Elite Spellbinder is also very good, especially with Mana Crypt. I'm going to take the Spellbinder here. Probably Cutting Heliod. I don't think it does anything, right? Whenever you gain life, put a 1-1 counter on a creature or enchantment you can or enchantment you control. Um, we just don't have consistent life gain. That's not what we're doing. Okay, Hero did come back. So did Ephemerate, which is good with what? Solitude, Revel Arc, Palace Jailer, Recruiter, Blade Splicer, Spellbinder, Skyclave Apparition, Wall of Omens. Huh. I think it might be Ephemerate here. That's interesting. It's really decent in our deck. Oh, the Elspeth came back. That's fantastic. Okay. Um, I think we can easily... Oh, wow. Council's Judgment came back, too. What in the earth? Yeah, Tokyo, you gotta do card first. There you go. You figured it out. Um, yeah, I don't think we're Wall of Omensing. I don't think we're Unmarked Graving. This is still 24 cards. Glad we got Lingering Souls. That actually kind of turns on both Staff and Skull Clamp quite well. Oh, Deep Cavern Bat came back? Oh, that's fantastic. Um, I'll take Steel Seraph. Actually, is Flicker Wish just a better Ephemerate? No, I'm going to take the Seraph just because I like... I think this goes well with Ephemerate, being able to blink it. Okay. Uh, this seems kind of decent. I feel like we got a lot of the cards we wanted. Um, I don't actually think I want Ranger Captain of Eos. I mean, if I have to cut a three drop, I think it's one of the weaker three drops. We only have one creature to get with it. I still need two cuts. I, I don't like Revel Arc. There's a lot of things we can get back with it. Uh, is it power? It's power, right? Yeah. So we can get back Palace Jailer, Recruiter, Skyclave, Blade Splicer, Stoneforge, Deep Cavern, Torok. We can get pretty much every creature back except for like Resto, Solitude, and Steel Seraph. And Elite Spellwind. Yeah, okay. Someone get Neon Tokyo their mids. He's gone off the rails. Okay. <sighs> Two cuts. I think it's probably Revel Arc. I just don't care about Revel Arc. Is that a reasonable reason to cut it? I don't know. I like this guy being more of a four drop. Is it Stone Forge? That doesn't seem great though. Man, like I do wish we had a either a sword or a cauldron complete here. That would be super nice. 
I never like having one target with Stoneforge because sometimes it's just a blank. Especially when the target is a one mana target, you're like, oh, I can just cast this for less than your ability. I mean, Revelux also very good with Ephemerate. Oh, boy. What if we cut Recruiter, keep Revelark? I like Revelark better than Recruiter, at least. Plus, we also have Dark Depths, which is kind of like a land or a, a spell here. You definitely don't want to play that as a land. Jeez, this is so many, so much value. I like Duress because it does. I guess we can cut Dam. Yeah, like we already have Get Lost, Council's Judgment, and Vindicate, and Skyclave Apparition, and Palace Jailer, and Solitude. It's a lot. We could probably cut Steel Seraph, maybe. This is only 13 creatures. Lingering Souls is 14. Elspeth is 15. Staff does make a 1-1. One, one. So this is 24. Do we just cut Steel Seraph? I think Steel Surf is good with Ephemerate. Like, you attack with your 3-3. If they try to kill it, you blink it. It comes back as a 5-4. It gives other things flying or lifelink or vigilance. Like, it's pretty good. Vamp seems slow? What does that even mean? I mean, I think we're using... I mean, we're using it because we have Dark Depths, Vampire, Hex Mage, and I... I you mean... Do you mean Tutor or Hex Mage? Because we're doing Dark Depths here, so that's not really... Um, all the lands are playable here. I mean, I would sooner cut duress. I think I think it's duress. We can easily sideboard duress. Okay. So the problem is we don't have a ton of black, but our black is like triple black. It's not a lot of black. Is it possible to cut the black? Not really. Like, we lose Dark Depths combo, we lose Vindicate, we lose... I mean, we have Mox Jet already, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, I think this is fine. So 6, 4 gives us 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 4 gives us 5, 6, 7, 8. We can definitely go... Yeah, that's good. This is 16 lands, which is actually 15 lands, plus Mana Crypt, plus Mox Jet. You're still not clarifying which vamp. I still don't know which vamp you're talking about. There are multiple vamps. Plus being able to tutor up like a removal spell or Lingering Souls or Solitude or Revel Arc. Like, I, I, I think vamp is... I think it's a rare that a that one mana vamp is too is too slow. This also isn't very... I, I don't think this deck is actually very aggro. Like, we don't have any one-drop aggressive creatures. Our two-drops are not aggressive. They're more setting us up for things like Deep Cavern Bat is not aggressive. Stone Forge with only Skull Clamps not aggressive. Like, this is... I don't think this is an aggressive deck at all. I think this is more like mid-range control, which is weird to say. But, like, it, just because it's a, a white-based deck with creatures in it does not make it aggro. Like, we have a Blade Splicer. Like, our, our attacking creatures on six are, like, Blade Splicer, Elite Spellbinder, Lingering, Lingering Souls. Like, it's... <clears throat> like, we probably don't want to cast this guy's whole four. Um, this is a turn to Seraph into, yeah, this is a keeper for sure. So we can just go like this. 
this, this, get in Dotha Trium, and next turn we can play. Steel Seraph into Archangel Elspeth. Sure, let's yield until the end step. Y'all ever been under the sea? You got it. Probe me, daddy. Don't say probe me, daddy. I was born under the sea. <laughs> you were simply adopted by the sea. I was born in it, molded by it. Let's crack this guy. Get that in Dotha Triome. Uh, let's go to the draw step. Play this guy and then just go. Let's prototype this thing. Beep, boop, boop, beep, beep, boop. You got it. <laughs> is is probe what father likes? I'll give it lifelink. It's funny that it gives flying, but it has flying. And then it gives vigilance and lifelink, but it doesn't have those things. Oh, fascinating. I guess we'll put Caracas into play. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. I can't Caracas that guy. Well, I'm fascinated. It's not legendary and it's indestructible. So we're kind of... Kind of in a little pickle here, you know? So let's go one, two, three, four, play this, this fine lady. Create a one, one. Is that better than just making this a five, five and attacking with vigilance and blocking it? No, we'll just make a one, one. So if they have an answer for this guy, we just die, right? That's pretty sad. <sighs> so if we put it, if we put it on this guy, we have one blocker. If we put it on this guy, we still have technically one blocker because this guy just gets in and this guy doesn't matter as a blocker. I think having three, I think having the three toughness is just better. I don't think it really makes a difference, but if they play like, okay. But it was not positive. It was negative. Well, we'll give Vigilance. Vigilance. All right. <clears throat> Fingers crossed they don't have a removal spell for our Steel Seraph. I bet they do. Just have Sixing here, so... Letting... Nope, change their mind. Okay, they're really, uh, there's a lot of uncertainty, even though we have no, no mana up. Okay, well, block. Okay, we get to look at three cards. We don't get to look at three. Well, we can vindicate that. Retrofitter, you got it. Play your land. 
and then play your retrofitter foundry. No? Okay. Well, we could always vindicate Narset. Okay. Oh, they didn't play the retrofitter foundry. Fascinating. Okay. One, two, three. Oh boy, what are we looking for? We're looking for solitude, basically. Solitude. Oh, get lost works. No, it doesn't. It destroys. I thought it would. I thought it. Would, I thought it exiled. All right. Well, we had a bunch of good options in our hand. None of them worked. Yep, that's sad. <laughs> I mean, we'd be a man of short, but it's still right there. So that's amazing. All right. Well, nothing. I guess we'll bring in the duress here. Nothing we had would have gotten rid of that guy. Um, let's... Actually, I wanted to take out Vindicator get lost because they don't kill that guy, but they do still kill everything else. They're very versatile. So Deep Cavern Bat's pretty good. Um... All right. All right, we'll keep this. Do we just turn one Mother of Runes? Probably. Does that, is that any different than turn two Mother of Runes? Yeah, because we could have actually thank cast you. the Sylvan off of Indatha Triome. So, MTG Pyro, thank you for the resub, buddy. I appreciate you. Um, yeah, we'll just turn one Mother. Turn one there of runes. <laughs> one one there. Because <laughs> it sounds like sounds like mother. You get it. Thespian stage. Well, I don't think I want to play Torok here. I think we're just going to play Triome. And then Nugya. I do not get the impression this is a deck we need to protect Mother of Runes against. We'll see if I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. And she's fine. She's not fine. She's fine. Are they going to probe? No? Okay. Vampiric Tutor. That's interesting. So here... We could get Dark Depths and then have the combo to set up. We could also get another... Just another Black Source for Torok. I mean, we have Lingering Souls here. I think we're just Lingering. Without knowing what they're doing, it's kind of hard to to know what to vamp for. That's good. That's a good use of brainstorm when you go to fetcher. A little fetcherino. Oh, a forest. Well, well, color me fascinated. All right, well, you got this guy again. 
Emrakul. Okay. Well, we can get rid of that guy. I think. Yeah, we can get rid of that guy. So we can... You can definitely get rid of an Emrakul with a Council's Judgment, right? Yeah. And we got the mana for it. All right, that's good. Um, I will vote for Emrakul. Who will you vote for? Oh, Pyro with the Bits. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. All right, well, we're just going to attack with everybody because I don't think Mother of Runes is really doing a lot of protecting here. I will take a Dark Depths. I'll take a Black Source. Lots of things I will I will accept. They were like, I'm not playing anything here. Staff of the Storyteller. Interesting. Okay. Sure. You got it. Oh, that's that's kind of nice because we're gonna obviously. Oh, that's that's actually great for us. So we get to attack, take the initiative, find a swamp, and then Torok. You know, presuming they can't stop four one ones. Phantasmal image copying under mountain adventure. That is a lot. It's a lot of guys. Oh, they're scrying too. Okay. I do wish we had a way to target this guy without just playing Skyclave Apparition. Not legendary, huh? Okay. Well. I think we just attack with two. We block them both, protect one so they don't get the initiative back. I guess we. Uh, I guess we're gonna play Torque, but that actually gives us some protection, so that seems fine. Mm, yes, go get our land. It workshop and island, and they have one card in hand. Okay. That seems good. Narset. You got it. Maybe we can apparition that thing. Got it. Nice. Get cantered. <laughs> See, that's funny. Hey, you're a funny guy. Yeah, I didn't think you'd be coming at me. Um, okay. 
Let's keep venturing. Oh, we just won the game. Okay, cool. <laughs> Seems good. Well, there are two targets so far. I've been Emrakul and Blightsteel, which neither damn is good against neither. Hmm. I still think this is pretty fine. I like that we have Duress and Deep Cavern Bat. We do have a good amount. Like, we have Council's Judgment... To get rid of the big idiots, we have solitude. Those are that's kind of it. I mean, I guess we just hope they don't go three out of three show and tell. I don't know. And his hand's actually kind of slow. I think we mulligan this. Like we can't even cast this guy or any of these because we don't have double white. Yeah, we'll keep this. Any black? We do we have Council Judgment's nice. Um, let's get rid of Resto here. Mox Jet would be fantastic. I'll take Mother of Runes. Retrofitter. Well, that is a black source. Wish it came into play untapped, but here we are. This costs two. Sure, I'll get in there. What are you going to do? Nothing. Okay, well, now we have three mana, so we can cast everything. Are we show and telling again? Okay. <laughs> I was like, what? What's that guy even do? Oh, wow, that's fascinating. One, two, three. So we have five mana. We can play Deep Cavern Bat and like Skyclave Apparition. That's pretty good. Tinker, <laughs> Displacer Kitten, Narset, and Mystical Tutor. Don't care about Narset. I think we just leave them with Tinker and we just... Don't care about Narset. I think we just take the Displacer Kitten maybe? They don't have any cards in their grave. They don't have any lands. And it doesn't look like they're going to get any anytime soon. They don't have a second blue. What can they get with Mystical Tutor that I care about? Probably nothing. And if, like, there's nothing that they can really blink to profit. I think maybe we do just take Tinker... Sure. And I think we're getting rid of this guy. They don't have the mana to really take advantage of this right now. They can't cast anything in their hand except for Mystical Tutor. Now they can cast Kitten, I guess. We can Vindicate it. Interesting. I guess they're just keeping a mystical tutor. Sure. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. 
Yeah, we're definitely vindicating their blue source. That is the correct choice. Oh, they didn't even play. Interesting. I figured they would mystical tutor, but I guess they want lands. So, oh, all right, sure. You got to top, top it up. I mean, we're, we're not putting an immense amount of pressure on them, but at the same time, like the resources are fairly constricted. There you go. Look at that. You got a little land. All right. Heads. The double flip winner. Lingering Souls is actually a really good draw here. Sure. Well, that's unfortunate. I, for, I did forget about that, but I don't think it really matters. Yeah, that's fine. If they want to tinker, like, we can just counsel his judgment, their guy. So we're going to go this guy, this guy, and set us up for a pretty nice turn if they want to, if they want to be tinkering. They're thinking. They're having a little think. They have decided to draw a card. Fetching. Got it. Fetching again. Got it. So we know they have Mystical Narset Displacer Kitten. And... We know their whole hand. Yeah, okay. I was like, wait, we know all of this. Because we know they have Narset, Mystical, and uh, Tinker now. Heads again? Dang. It's too good to be true, you know? Oh, that's interesting. Well, either take six or... Oh, okay. Okay. Didn't expect that, but all right. Well, I kind of want to avoid any kind of combo shenanigans that they might be up to, so I think we're just going to blink this guy. And steal this guy, which is much worse than them having a generic 3-3. And now they're dead unless they can deal with two spirit tokens in the sky. Still no three of the four cards in their hand. Oh, no, they know all four cards. One of them is top, right? So, sure. And we have the perfect foil for Triplicate Titan, Blightsteel Colossus. They don't have enough mana to really make use of Draw two, sure. I think this is just a... They're just reaching here. Okay. Tippity top. 
So now they have Narset and Mystical Tutor in hand, and then the two they drew. Let's do a little looky-loo. See if you got a card that costs two mana that can deal with two of my 1-1 flyers and get through a Mother of Runes. Yep, had a feeling. All right. Deck, deck performed well. We were able to, to beat two show and tells. That's pretty nice. Okie dokie. Round. That's pretty good. I'll keep that. So we can go turn one, turn two, turn three, turn four. Let's see. This is a solid curve. Turn three, we get to see if they can stop this. And then they get like a turn to stop it. All right. Well, in a perfect world, am I right? Okay. Well, I'm glad we did not draw our skull clamp. Against the red deck, I will keep Mother of Runes up, believe it or not. I also have a feeling they might not have a good answer to a uh, to a Dark Depths. But what do I know? This spicy gentleman. Oh, look what you got here. Look at look at yourself. XL a non-land permanent if its mana value is less than or equal to the number of colors. That's unfortunate. But they don't have one. I guess we just take the one ring here, right? They were like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the one ring on turn three. And I was like, no, don't. Spire blood. What did they play? Oh, they played Island and Displacer Kitten. Okay. So we still know five of the six cards in your hand. Or f f we know all the cards in your hand. That's what little Frankie meant. It is time. <laughs> All right, so we'll just send this guy over and then, well, we're gonna keep up the, keep up the combination maneuver. Oh, this is also sorcery, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, cool. Are you dead, dark quarterer? Okay, are they gonna, are they gonna search with that? They kind of have to. Because Time Spiral, can't cast Time Spiral, can't cast One Ring. We know you have Ragavan and Prismatic Ending, and neither of those do anything. Oh, plus we have Mother of Runes as well, so really, <laughs> that's, it's, it's all over from here, right? They need multiple answers? Yeah, all right. Got them. <laughs> yeah, let's get them. Get them, boys. All right. Dark Depths. I keep wanting this Duress, and I'm thinking I should just play 41 with Duress. Deck does not have a super high curve. I'll take Rebel Arc out. Okay, this hand is a little slower. I think we still keep it. They mulligan to six on the play. Yeah, we can keep this. I wish Guess Get Lost exiled because it'd be a great foil for things like the One Ring. All 
All right, no raggles. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, what can we get with that guy? Mox Jet? Mana Crypt? Interesting. I think it's just Elite Spellbinder into Double Lingering Souls. That seems decent. Like, we can't do anything next turn, so I kind of like tutoring here. We could also just get, like, Staff, make a guy, and then Lingering Souls or Elite Spellbinder make more guys. I do like Mana Crypt here, though. Yeah, let's Mana Crypt. Like Degenerates. Man, at least Spellbinder is so satisfying. Hull Breacher? Well, I don't foresee myself drawing many cards. But also, it's just kind of a pain. Bribery is expensive, but it can't really get much against us. And it's also five. Iteration is fine. I think I just want the Hull Breacher. It's the only card that actually does something. And next turn, we can Lingering twice. Okay, Canyon. Got it. Let's say Heads. Heads never fails. Never fails. Oh, mommy. Get lingering. Keep lingering. Well, we have seven power and flying on the board. They're gonna thirst. They're gonna get thirsty. They didn't have a basic in hand. They didn't have any land. So I'd be surprised if they actually discarded a basic here. Displacer and Prismari Command. Okay, so two cards I actually didn't know about. So we do know th we know two of their four cards in their hand. Okay. I mean, do they bribery and just get like Solitude? <laughs> we do not have great options here. Palace Jailer is pretty good, but then we have four spirits, so it's like their odds of keeping. The monarchy is not high. Solitude, sure. You got it. One again. So good. Oh, Caracas. Well, that's too bad. Well, we do have Council's Judgment Mana, so we know they have Hull Breacher. No, they have Espr Espressive one other card, and they're able to cast Hull Breacher. We don't want them to do this, though. Whatever this nonsense is. Too bad it's not legendary. <laughs> Those guys should be legendary. It's nice that they don't have any way to uh, explore. Man, at least Spellbinder's so good. Are they just keeping Hall Breacher up? Oh my god, we lost? That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable.
All right, well, they're on a two-turn clock now. Sure. I mean, even if they, like, Time Twister here, like, we still only have one card anyway, so... Five. Jar. Okay. I doubt they're going to play Jar right now. Well, maybe they will, actually. Yeah, that checks out. I mean, that's actually fine. Because I get my hand back after this, which is... And they're at two? Oh, did they take... They took two at the end of the turn to cast this guy, and then they took two on their turn? Yeah, I don't know what they can do here. They have to get rid of two of my spirits. And I have a Mother of Runes. Well, that's pretty good. Might as well, might as well activate it. Mm -hmm. Subtlety, sure. Yep, that's fine. There's no spells. Really? <laughs> you have no mana, right? All right. Well, give it a shot. And blue. <laughs> really? Okay. That seems like a lot of work to get rid of a Mother of Runes. Okay, this guy's gone. We have Expressive Iteration. Well, I'm not loving all the flips I'm losing, but that's okay. We have a bunch of... So, we can Council's Judgment. This guy. Sure. I think I actually should have been Hellbreacher. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. And then I think we just get rid of the one of their lands. Because that leaves them with two of these. They can't cast Iteration now. They have Protection. They take one. They're at one, so they can't activate Fiery or Sunbaked Canyon here. I have no idea what's happening. Okie dokie. Yep. <laughs> I mean, you have no... Oh, I guess you get the... Yeah, I should have killed this guy. This was the correct play, because the stupid subtlety doesn't ma matter. Oh, God, I think we just cost ourselves the game there. Yeah, that was stupid. I was worried about the subtlety, because I'm like, well, in the future, they're not going to be able to block, but I'm like... They can block one guy. Whereas Hullbreacher makes, like, Time Twister live. 
I mean, I still have four flyers. They have a bunch of mana, but they also have two lands they just can't tap. Yep, that's fine. Okay, that's gone. They exiled Island. They already played a land. So they have four mana to deal with three more spirit. Oh, they they used one for prismatic ending, sure. I mean maybe the maybe the one blocker is gonna be relevant, but again, like it wouldn't have because they wouldn't have just had any mana to work with. Plus, they still have to also deal with their own one ring and untap with it. So, like, they have a bunch of things to deal with. Okie <laughs> dokie. That makes me... Yeah, I'm like, once they start digging, I'm like, that's pretty good. Wow, 2-0. Satisfying 2-0. Round three. Oh, dang it. I hate having Skull Clamp in my opener. Nevertheless, we have Lingering Souls and Skull Clamp, so that's got to be worth something, right? I mean, if we draw um, Thespian Stage or Vampire Hex Mage, we're living the dream. I mean, that also assumes you draw a Swamp. Did Watsy ban anything in Cube? You didn't cover it in your early morning Biscuit Hour ban talk. <laughs> Oh my god. Sometimes I wake up and I'm like, why am I friends with John? That guy. That guy is just a menace. Just an absolute menace. Oh dear, what are you doing? I bet they're doing nothing. Oh, look at that guy. Would you look at that guy? What a little, what a little rascal. Okay. We're lingering. I do not like Hull Breacher in the cube. I think it's way too oppressive. I took it out of my own cube. This is not the regular vintage cube. It is the alpha, the alpha frog vintage cube. Interesting. Just get rid of that. Get rid of that speed at the. Um, let's attack. And then let's draw. And then presumably we'll draw a nice little land to cast this spellbinder off of. We did not. Like you do. So we'll linger, get a little lingering, and play a dark, dark deppy. All right. <clears throat> sure, you got it. They disputed their own, they sacked their own lion's eye diamond in order to draw two and make a treasure. I have menace and horsemanship. That makes sense. Teferi Temporal Pilgrim. Draw a card. Create a blue spirit. Okay. I see. I understand. Okay. So I'd like to counsel's judgment that guy because he's kind of a pain. means I do need to hit a land here. Any land will do. And just a dab will do you, you know? Just a land. Any land. It's not, I'm not asking a lot, really. It's really, it's like the bare minimum of fantastic. Okay. Gotta love it. 
kind of unbelievable, but that's okay. Just drew four cards without a land. Five, five cards have become my draw step. Good, 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 good. Goody, 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 goose. Might as well kill this guy too, I guess, because we got to hit a land. Maybe it's a land and a mana crypt or something. That would be cool, right? It was a land. One land. To rule them all. And in the darkness. It's pretty dark. Yeah, that was terrible. That was absolutely terrible. That's fine. Yeah, I guess we're just passing here, man. Gotta discard three cards. I like Revel Arc. Let's get rid of Stony, Torok. And Ephemerate's fine. Wow, that's so sad. What does this guy do? Take 10 turns or something? Target opponent chooses a permanent they control and return it to their... Then they shuffle each and all in permanent they control. Target opponent chooses a permanent they control and returns it to its owner. Okay, so you just... You, you bounce one permanent and reshuffle the rest, except for lands. Sure, that's not actually that good. Remember that time I drew six, seven cards and I hit one land? That was pretty neat. Just... Super neat. The neatest, you might say. Okay, so what does this do? At the beginning of your upkeep, put a creature from a graveyard on the battle. Sure, that's great. Still nothing. This is unbelievable. So what are they going to get? They're going to get nothing that's great. I don't know if this is better. I have no idea, to be honest with you. I feel like this match would have been a lot better if had I drawn uh, lands. Also, this is a spell. Don't forget, this is considered a spell in our deck. So we are playing 17 mana sources and a dark depths. Depths. I mean, Teferi's only drawing them one card a turn, so it's not terrible. I'm actually surprised they're drawing cards and not just making two twos. That could be really strong. But what do I know? He knows nothing. Hey, it's a land. Who knew they were even in the deck? We could have Vampiric Tutored to get, like, Thespian Stage there. Uh, still can. You think this guy's resolving? It's not. Oh, it is. Hmm. Fascinating. Snuff it out. For four mana, huh? Okay. If I had more mana, I could actually resto and save it, but it wasn't meant to be, you know? Days Bone Shards Brazen Borrower. Fascinating. Man, none of these are very good. I'm kind of impressed that those are that's all you have in your hand right now. I would play staff, but I'd much rather tutor here.
I kind of like that they're doing this. Because that means next turn we can tutor. Okay. So days, bone shards, island, island, and whatever you drew. Got it. Got a nine. Got an eight. Oh, we made a guy. Great. Yeah, that's annoying. What did you play? Island? Cool. <laughs> okay, okay. That's pretty good. Yep. Seems good. Yep. I feel like their deck hasn't seemed that good. And I'm sure they'll get there. I'm sure there's a lot more going on here, but... Sure. This is a sorcery, right? What they play? Island? Okay, so now we know days, bone shards. Four, five, six, seven, they can take eight. Very tempted to exile this guy with a solitude. We're getting rid of this guy because it flies and it could possibly block the merit lage if that's our plan. I mean, we're just getting thespian stage here. I've heard of him, but I wouldn't say I know him. So what we need one one to activate so we can actually still play steel seraph here with prototype and see if they want to daze it i bet you do you'll be a dazer if you do <laughs> so it's funny because it's daisy yep see there you go so that one's gone and they might just not have an answer for this guy it's a 2020 with indestructible. So, you know, let them do what they want, I guess. We take six. Island is great. Top is fine. That's a digger. Oh, they're digging. <laughs> Is Merit Lazy just going to win this game for us? That would be insane. Twenty twenty did not feel indestructible to me. You're correct. Oh, they're they're drawing their card.
That doesn't do anything. So now they have bone, sh bone shards and two other cards in their hand. One of them has to be an instant speedway to either get rid of Thespian Stage or Merit Lage. Tardwan chooses a permanent, a permanent they control and returns it to its owner's hand. Then they shuffle each non-land permanent. Okay. Bounce of planes? <laughs> what does that do? What did that do? What? Wait, did I miss something? I think, did they just mess up? Did they think it was going to shuffle all lands? Because that would be insane. That might be why they dug with, with top, just to get him at 12. <clears throat> that was interesting. No, no, don't do that. Choose a depth to keep. Which one do you keep? Keep this one, right? So the trigger can go. Look, now we're getting our lands. All right, let's see. <laughs> you got something? <laughs> That's funny. Sure. Let's just cast you. And then if they have a way to get rid of you, then we get two guys back, huh? How's that sound? This is when it leaves the battlefield as well, so they can't exile it, bounce it, or kill it. And then we get like Torok, Stoneforge, Mother of Runes. And they still have to find an answer for this guy. We know they drew top, so they have top bone shards. Unless they shuffled. No, they drew top. Yeah, they drew top. So we know those two. This is intense. I'm feeling a lot of intensity. <coughs> okay let's get Torak and Mother of Runes I guess I mean, they still have to get rid of two blockers, and we know one of their cards is a Sensei's Divining Top, so. Yep. Okay, they're just digging. <laughs> Doing a little diggathy. I mean, they have to have an answer in the top three cards, so. Boy, the intensity is here. Okay. I would be surprised if you can get rid of both of these guys and put a blocker into play. Hmm. 
they're paying costs here. This is this is this is pretty uh they're they're really really slower on this. Remember when I didn't draw lands for six, seven cards? That was cool. Urtai. Okay. That can get rid of one. Got it. <laughs> Why does it take you 20 minutes to do that? I don't understand. Why does it take so long? Oh, that's infuriating, dude. Yep, duress again. Yeah, so I mean, whether I got Mother of Runes or... Um, Stoneforge, it would not have mattered in that situation. And they had Urtai, so if we if we flashed in Resto, it wouldn't have all, it also wouldn't have made a big difference. Man, that's so frustrating, dude. Like I have I'm tapped out and I have two I have two creatures. You have two spells that get rid of creatures. Why does it take seven minutes? I don't understand. Well, this hand would be great if Dark Depths tapped for mana. Then we would have this into this. I think we have to mulligan this. Oh good. <sighs> yep. Just wasn't meant to be this this round. Uh, no, we're going to definitely put back this guy. I mean, if we can top deck a Dark Depths, like, turn three Dark Depths. They have a bunch of answers, though. They have Brazen Borrower. They have... We saw them. We saw the answers. We know what they are. I'm just going to crack this for Indotha Triome. It gives us a third black for Torok. It also gives us a second white. Not that I mean we already had it, but nonetheless, I'd rather not just top deck this. So. Okay, Virtue, Deadly Dispute, and Time Walk. I kind of like Virtue. They might go Time Walk into Virtue, which is, I guess that's fine. Yeah, I'd rather waste their, it makes, it makes them waste their Time Walk on a turn where it doesn't really do much. Oh, we should have played, oh, we, we were supposed to play Thespian Stage in case we had Dark Depths. So we know these five and then one more. Mm, okay, well now they're not gonna, they can still time walk, I guess. It's an interesting choice with, they have lands in hand, but I guess they know everything in their hand costs less than two. So, or less than three rather. Fascinating, exactly what I thought they'd do. So, Time Walk and Swamp are gone.
Yep. Wow. Exactly what I assumed they would do. Skyclave Apparition. I mean, we could always eat their top, but that doesn't really do anything. That's the problem with top. I guess we're just going to play Thespian Stage. Yeah, this is a pretty rough, pretty rough hand. Animate dead. That's fascinating. Sure. Okay. Well, our hand is pretty unimpressive right now, so that's unfortunate. It's still, still unimpressive. Oh, boy. Well, they only have a 2 1. I mean, we could play Skyclave against our own Elite Spellbinder. Yeah, and keep up Ephemerate. I mean, we do it on the Animate Dead, obviously, so they get a 2-2, two, two, not a 3-3. Three, three. Okay, so their hand is not great. They do have Deadly Dispute up. So that's not ideal. That's pretty interesting. Would have liked to play Elspeth here. I think we probably should have done this last turn. But I do like keeping Ephemerate up. Actually, maybe we did want to exile this guy because they have Virtue of Persistence? Hmm. Sure. Superfuss, you looking for another job? Oh no, what's happening? Yeah, deadly dispute. You got it. Okay, even, yeah, so even if we actually targeted this, the, I forgot the deadly dispute, they'd still have. Fatal push. Sure. <laughs> you got it. <clears throat> I mean, it locks up your mana for a turn. You get to draw it. It's fine. This is like a seven mana planeswalker that you can't actually attack. Super that would be awesome if you got that. That sounds like a much better cultural fit for you as well. 
if you need a reference, let me know. I'll tell him he's he's hilarious. I'll be like, this guy's funny. He's talented. Wait, did they not play the... They just played Tomp and activated Tomp? No. Oh, that's good. Well, we're one minute shy of being able to cast Elspeth and put Dark Depths into play. The problem is they have Mystical Tutor, so they can pretty much get whatever they need to deal with a Merit Lage, right? Man, one mana shy. I think we just keep it up. <laughs> like they gotta do they have to have an answer, right? Plus this doesn't walk into a counter spell. I don't know why they didn't play this though. Like we don't have an we're not we don't have counters, like then they could have gotten back Elite Spellbinder. They're definitely going to Mystical Tutor here. No, they're just going to... They're going to top again? Okay. You got it. I mean, Brazen Borrower is a problem um, if they have it. They did not attack, which makes me think they might have it. They might not have it. Um, I'll choose this land. Keep this one. Turn into a lazy. Okay, they have Braze Bar on top. Fantastic. Yep, never fails. <laughs> Don't know why you didn't attack, but I guess because I blocked, but then you still do the same thing. So I literally have no idea why you made the choices you made. Like, again, I'm playing cards that can't really deal with that, so. Okay, and you have a counterspell. Great. Well, I get to draw a card at least. And then so do you. Cool. Fantastic. Okie dokie. Pretty sure this game is over now. I'm still not sure I understand why you didn't play this. Like... Your hard casting Ashen Riders. Fantastic. Thanks for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.